Hey guys, welcome back. Today we will discuss about neurological examination. Neurological examination is a part of diagnostic process of mental health problems. So, neurological examination is the assessment of nerve system to understand the whole body functioning and to check the functioning will be normal or not. Neurological examination is not a deeper examination. This includes basically five components with seven categories. The time duration for neurological examination is 30 to 60 minutes. The major components we will check in neurological examination are Menda status, checking of cranial nerves, motor system checking, reflex checking, sensory system checking, checking of coordination and examination of station and gait. What are the indications of neurological examination? Coordination problems, balance problems, continuous headache, blurred vision, numbness in the leg or hand, hearing problem, speech problem, confusion, continuous fever, seizure and fatigue. In this situation, the psychiatrist will suggest for a neurological examination. So the first component is Menda status examination. Menda status examination, the first step of neurological examination. In Menda status examination, the Menda status checking will take place. Major seven components will check. They are appearance, behavior, speech, thought, mood, affect, judgment, attention, and memory. And how to do Menda status examination or how to write Menda status examination. Regarding that already, I have uploaded a video you can check in the channel. The next section is coordination and balance. That is the next step of neurological examination. Here, the neurologist will ask to do some walking and movement activity. Neurologist will ask to walk in a straight line by placing one foot straight in front of other to check the balance. And other test include touching their face with hand and finger, etc. So these kind of basic tests will do to understand the coordination and balance. Next thing is reflex. In the reflex, reflex testing is an important part of neurological examination. Neurologists will test the reflexes by tapping in different parts of the body with the help of rubber and knee hammer, especially specific areas like knee, elbow and ankle. If the reflexes are normal means the body will respond back without any pain. Otherwise, the patient will show disturbances and pain while tapping. Next is sensation. To check the sensation, neurologists will examine all five senses such as vision, hearing, smell, taste and touch. The instruments used for checking sensations are tuning fork, dull needle, alcohol swabs, and also the neurologist will make the patient to touch and feel the hot and cold also. So this is the sensation testing aspect of neurological examination. Next is cranial nerves checking. We have 12 pairs of cranial nerves. Cranial nerves connect brain to eyes, ears, nose, face, tongue, neck, upper shoulders and some organs. To check each cranial nerve function, neurologists will tell to do different process like touch somewhere, smell something, speak, moving your head, vision and hearing test. So cranial nerve testing is also a part of neurological examination. Next, other examinations in neurological examination are checking breath pattern, heart rate, blood pressure, temperature, light response to eye. So all these things also will check as a part of neurological examination. And after the test or after all this test done by the neurologist, if the impression is normal, he will write the impression is normal. And if not normal, he will refer the patient for further detailed investigations like blood test, erythrocyte sedimentation rate test, clotting time test, bleeding test, hemoglobin test or blood chemistry test. The next part of neurological examination is EEG, that is electroencephalogram. If the patient's impressions are not normal, then only we will send the patient for EEG. EEG is used to check the activities of brain and abnormalities like brain damages, tumor, dysfunction, stroke, sleep disturbances, etc. Other detailed test is CT or computerized tomography. It is a type of scan which helps to see inside of human body and CT will give pictures in faster way. 
and apart from that some day magnetic resonance imaging or mri also will do it is a type of an scan that uses a strong magnetic field and radio waves to produce detailed images of the body mri is more detailed and some more clear scan and what is the nurse's responsibility in neurological exam assessment analyze formulate nursing diagnosis plan implement and evaluate the care so this is about neurological examination again i'm telling you neurological examination is not a deeper examination in the impression if the psychiatrist is finding anything difficult or disturbances then they will refer for detailed examination hope you understand guys thank you